Hello everyone, I am Superdude, and we are on another episode of Pack Labs. I am solo once again. I am doing some more technical project builds that Mr. Flops and Nick probably don't really understand or want to understand. So I decided to do them by myself, but I'm still going to film them just because I feel they're going to be as entertaining. So uh, what we have to do today is finish moving probably most of this. I'm thinking I did decide I'm going to move this underground to the workshop. All this is going to go, all the that farm is going to obviously stay. Uh, tree farm stays. I don't think I want to build an underground tree farm again. Even though I have the machines, it would make it easier. I built one, a few in vanilla. It was not fun. So we did a workshop. Uh, we got all the task chambers. Transition observation deck. Uh, missile silos are almost done. We just have to clean them up a little bit. Uh, like the edges and such, but most of it is pretty much done. There's just a few bits of sand on the sides to cover out like here. But other than that, it's pretty much good. I, uh, I'll have to wait for Necro and Fluss to decide what the walls should be made of. I'm thinking either. I think there was concrete. I don't at one time. I don't know if it is um, concrete. Block of concrete. I know. I know. At one time, you make made a bucket and then like you poured it out and it, like covered like a huge area. I don't know if I want to do that much. So this is like cobblestone and rebar. Makes concrete. It's kind of got that gray texture that I kind of was thinking about. Rock crusher. I make rebar. Rolling machine, iron, or bronze, or steel. Steel might be better because you get eight. So yeah. So that doesn't sound too too complicated to make. All right, and then. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just moving the base, sorting system. So, let me show you what I've done so far. If I go down here. So, I cleaned up the walls. I may also cleaned up the hallway and such. So, we have our observation deck here. So, the missile one missile silo will be right here. We got our soon to be uh, mission control slash. Uh, observation deck and then we got our hallway I think in other hallways branch out uh, this I'm thinking of putting all our essence berry bushes and they are or bushes we wanted but I kind of feel that thought about it. we're gonna get like tons of the metals and stuff we don't need to have the bushes too it doesn't give that much so uh but I don't want to stand here picking all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm setting up these autonomous activators, which are kind of like players, but computers that like they will automatically click for you. So I should. There we go. So I'm going to put those down and then I am going to do. OK, so I need one more autonomous activator. Let me. See if I can make that really quickly. Uh, I do like these work tables that re remember your recipes. All right, so I think I need glass and redstone. And uh, oh yes, well I'll talk about the sorting system a little bit, but I kind of laid out the chests how I wanted. Uh, glass. All right, and then I think I need a piston, so I'm going to need one more bit of cobble. Should have enough for that. Uh, chest, piston, yes. So, piston, or cobble. It's all the way at the end. I might move that closer so it's not such a trick. Alright, let me see. Cobble. Uh, one piston. Thomas. Ten. Uh, metals. So yeah, mostly everything's in the right place, it's just more things went to barrels, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. 
All right, so I want to do, so I'll move that torch uh, here. So what I'm thinking is I have a vacuum hopper, which is going to suck up any of the berry bushes. Uh, then I'm going to put activator there, which should activate it, um, or eat the bushes. I should, uh, let's see, item output, put that way. And then XP, I want that way. And so what I'm going to do is put up there, and that should go up to that. So they should, I think if I put it to left click, oh, that's going to just break it. Oh, crap. So this might be a problem. I was thinking, OK, this will click it. But now it's, uh, hmm, I need to think about this. So I, th I think that when you put it in, one of these activators it well let's see I, I thought like you pick it and it drops and then so it gets sucked up and then it gets put in the machine which will eat it and then the orbs will float around which gets sucked back into the hop because it takes the xp as well and then put it into the jar that's what i was thinking so we did lose acid bush but i think we can find one somewhat quickly hopefully so input there. Oh wait, okay. I just broke it. Okay, that's good. So right click place. Okay, so at least we got that. Um I think it's all good. So I'll just leave that alone and check on it later. Um let's see what else. Uh so yeah, this will be the workshop. Uh chests over barrels over here with our stuff that we're going to get a lot of and then we have our normal chest that we had before uh, we got a few craft crafting stations a little bit spaced out for all three of us and so the sorting system the way I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking using logistics as first because it's cheap and such uh, for starting out so this will be the two sort chest so everything will get start here but then it's gonna get piped out uh, I'm thinking the machines over along this side over here. So anything that needs processed by machines or something will get sent over here and then go back over here. And so the main pipe will go down and under, uh, go over here. Uh, there will be junctions so that way if I need to trash anything, it will automatically get trashed. Or it will first go through all the barrels. And once it's done over here, it will come back over here, go along this way of this chest side. And then wrap around and do this side uh, and then end here, which anything that d didn't fit in there uh, will get here. So that way I know I need to fix something. So that is the th what I'm thinking. Eventually, I think I might add a little bit of auto crafting, like in the back over there. I might put the Tinker's Construct uh, smeltery in that corner. Maybe put like a few things over here. This, uh, this I'll show a little bit later uh, when Mr. Fluffs and Necro get back on. Uh, in our, oh yeah, I do have one more room that I prepared because I do need power somewhat recently. So this is the center of the volcano. Uh, it stopped a little bit short, but I brought, that, brought it down. So what I was thinking is, well, let me just take everything and then so what, th what I was thinking was, uh, I can't, it would be kind of cool if I, we made it so it looks like it, we're tapping into the volcano itself. So I'm thinking if we put, let's see, the roof is going to be there. So if I put this here, and then brick this up. Oh, okay, so I need to move this back one. Like so. Uh, I think I want it like that. 
Alright, so then this will come down like so. And I don't need these here. Alright, and then I think I'll get like a facade or something to cover this up so it, all you see coming out of it is well, do I have any better pipes? Clear pipes? Yes I do. So I, all you would see coming out of it is a, a, pot, uh, a pipe of lava. Uh, so then I'm thinking it would come over there. I guess I don't think I need this much tanks of lava. That was more just uh, when I was taking lakes of lava around the overworld. But now that we have the nether lava, it's kind of pointless. So I'm thinking maybe just having a small tank like that. And then it kind of wouldn't make more sense if I had power. Because let's see, I'm going to run power that way. Yeah, I guess this is fine. So I'll just put the lava generators along here. So let's see. If I have lava going under, I could. I'm probably going to have. Well, I'm not going to run anything heavy duty. If I need more power, then I'll build something else but for now I think just having like so will be good and then I'll just get rid of this lava somehow maybe I'll turn it into obsidian or something um, and then I made a tank for water as, and their tank as well for water so that should be filling up and then I don't want to do this Oh, well, I guess I won't run cables just yet to uh, for power just yet until I actually get need power down here, which should be somewhat soon. Uh, I do want to move. I'm running out of space. Or my inventory is getting cluttered. I don't like it too cluttered. Um, let's see. I do want to move this. I don't want the lava. Alright, so I need this. Yeah, of course it burns. Alright, um so take that. So I do want, I need this, 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 uh, I guess let me take some water just so I have it, um, I guess let me break take that, and take that, which is going to explode. I think I got a thing. So I, I think I do want this one machine over here. The uh, do I want the igneous six screw? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this will go. I guess I put it there. And so I put the, I'll put love on this side. Which side is? Actually, I think I want to flip that. Just so it's like the same as the machine. So love on this side. Wire on that side. And then I'll put. I'll grab. Uh, let's see where it is. I'll put the igneous extruder 
I guess over here. that one there and then can I just put it directly on yes yes good all right so that's gonna be filling up with water and then if I come back over he here and then I just simply if I can put that there, put that there. I'll put, I'll put, let's make obsidian. All right, so that's going to make it obsidian. So it looks like it's going to have enough water. So I, why, why I did it this way? is now anytime we need lava or water in the workshop we can just simply walk up to it get a little bit of water or somehow get rid of water <laughs> uh should have a void pipe just in case i'll i'll figure it out <laughs> anyway you get the idea Alright, so lava is good, water's good. I'll cover that up later. Uh, I don't need this chest anymore. Okay, so the only thing really left is to move this, the machines, and the smeltery. Smeltery might be a challenge. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll come back once I gather everything up. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, to get the bookshelves uh, back again without destroying it is I'm going to make a soap pick to get that. Um, probably just do a tinkers soap pick real quickly. Pick everything up, move it over, and then we'll come back after that. Alright, and we're back. Um, so I got everything down here. So first, I was going to first do the, uh, the machines, but I think the smeltery is going to take up more room, and I kind of see how much room it's going to take. Um, I think... That is it. Yeah, so let me grab a little bit of cobble. And off camera, I just made a quick uh, stone pickaxe with silk on it so I can pick up all the bookshelves. Now I have to recraft them. So I kind of want to build uh, this into the wall. Hmm. I want to build into the wall. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could. For now. We are time space. We can always expand it out the wall out if I need it. The other side. Or just move it entirely. So I need So we got sear bricks, controller, drains, and we got some stone. Let me put the stone on the bottom just so I don't want to see two different bricks. Alright, so that is that. I kind of forget how tall it is. Uh, let's do three for now. Yeah, I think it's three. Do I want this one higher? Because originally I did have it one higher. Yeah, I think I 
do. So back up. So put that there. Just so no mobs spawn. All right, so stone. And put that like that. Yeah, that's right. I did want to make more drains, but I think I'll hold off on that. Um, so let's do that like that. Oh, and I do want to put the tanks behind the wall. So let's put it, I guess, here. Uh, not there. Apparently, it holds the lava. That's useful. So, I think I'll put the drains on this side. Uh, these. Like so, uh, let's do that. That. Um. I wonder if we need to put a torch in there. I guess if, if anything spawns, I'll put it in, but for now. Alright, that should light it. Yes, it does. Alright, I think I just have enough to seal it in. Alright. And we got our smeltery. Yay. I think I'll replace that with some stone. I'm, I am just putting replacing everything with stone right now just because we haven't decided what to make the room out of. And so similar with the hallways and the other rooms is it's just all stone for now because it's cheap. Later on we might change we'll change it to something else. Because just regular stone, it's kinda of boring. Alright, so I got that going. I do need to move this over, and the only way to move it is breaking it, unfortunately. So, move that there. And then I have a bookshelf. So I'll take all these books and bookshelf. I do have a good idea with the, what to do something extra with the bookshelf, but I'll save it for later. So put these. Okay, that works. Yeah, that works. Uh, all right. So we got that. Uh, next is the tool stand. Tool stations. Uh, kind of leave those open, so I'm probably move, put them like along there. I do have two of everything, so hmm. so part builder stencil table. Stencil table doesn't need it. This is the that um how's that look yeah I kind of like that so what I'll do is I'll put the chest in there so that way it's out of the way but we still use it through the table and yeah, full all right so like that
So then, so then it's the table part builder is what I need to put under. All right, and yep, I can access it. This one doesn't have it because it's only in our chest. And then, let's do that and that. And I think I want to move it over. Let's go over. So that way, it's not too crowded against the thing. So stencil table goes over. That and that. So that works. Alright, uh, what else? So the XP uh, and the bookshelves and stuff, I kind of want to hold off on until I think about what I want to do. Uh, machines, igneous, I don't need. I don't need these. Uh, chess, hoppers. Um, take that. Everything else I can leave. Oh yeah, I do need to set a lot of thing over there. Alright, so machines. I'm thinking... Something like this. So we got a redstone furnace and pulverizer. Um... Usually I kind of lump them together like I did before, but since I'm going to be doing logistics and stuff, I kind of want to space them out just a little bit. So pulverizer and furnace I'll leave together, but then I'll put chest there. And then that can go there. And then... I guess it uh, will be Magma Crucible, Food Transposer, and I guess that will be it for that. If I have to move this machine and put a chest here instead so I can uh, export it uh, but I think I can just ac export it through pipes. So put that there. Um, so I want that. Uh, that can come off, that and that, but not like so. And then, so it's not too dark. Yeah. So we got machines over there. Next is wiring, but I think I might need a few cables. Let me see. I got seven and twelve. I got nineteen. I just might barely make it. All right. So I need to figure out: Do I want the power to go through the back or the bottom? So most of the pipes are going to run under the floor, so it might be just as easy to run it. Though sometimes I, I think I might pipe items up, so for this I might do under. Yeah. So let's see. Um, yeah. So I do want have bat form, so I can do wiring and such. I don't think flying is on. Yeah, I have to kill the weather once in order to get flying. But uh, I'm hiding th this feature from Necron Fluffs uh, because I want to pull some of a prank on them. But 
so hopefully they don't see this episode before I pull the prank. I think I'll probably pull it next episode or so, just to, so we can finally use this because it is very handy for wiring and such. All right, so this goes like that, and where is powers over there? So lying along sixty nine, so sixty eight. Those are about there. So I could go back and over. That might not be too bad. Um, all right, let me see where I think it's the X coordinate is. So I want 191 and 680, 30. All right, so what, what, what? <laughs> I have no idea what's killing me. What? Quartz, yes. Can I use my armor? Okay, that's really weird. Go back to bat. Ha. All right. So let's move over here. So ninety one. All right, there's machines. I'll clean this up after. Yeah, let's see. We might not have enough conduit. So I might have to go and make it a little bit more. So that torch. Yeah, I'm a little bit off. Alright, so I'll be back. I'll make a few more a few more conduit and then yeah. We'll be back. All right, and I'm back. Uh, I just finished wiring uh, back to the to the machines. Right now, I'm just uh, installing a servo, so love is getting pumped in, which it is. So this should be all working now. So I did uh, add a battery uh, energy cell in here, just as a buffer, just in because I think I'm going to power other machines and stuff here so I could draw from here. So this is going up, which is good. Uh, so I can just pick this up. Alright. Uh, I also did put the lava gem behind there to power the smeltery. So I am looking at these uh, let's get that, that, um, all right, just a little quick detour. So, uh, let's see. So I am thinking, I did look up the magical wood as the, uh, is it magical? Yes, it's magic. Well, magical wood. So it requires a bookcase, enchanted books, and gold. Uh, all right. 
turn it up by five up to max of thirty levels. So I so the max is thirty, so I would need six book six magical wood. Um I do know if you use better books, you get more wood. Uh let me just take that and that and some letters. So I don't have to make trips. Though I don't have a craft table over here. Well, might be able to make it there. Anyway. Um so what I'm thinking is just having one So having a tank. This I think I can move. Uh it's just a tunnel. Um <laughs> So I'm thinking one, two, three. So put that here. So let's see. So we got let's use these first. I don't know if the glass is gonna block it, hopefully not. All right, so we got something like that. Uh, I'm thinking having. I mean, I could do this more efficiently, but I figured so we have the tanks to increase the space as well. So something like that, and then put one of these there. So then we can have the adult anvil and the regular anvil. Mm. I guess we could just put it like so. Yeah, it's getting a little bit cramped, but I don't think we're going to be using these a lot. So this is the yeah, anvil. Um, I, t I won't tell it to drink until we absolutely need it. So this, I do want to tell it to drink from this side. And then it should be drinking. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's going down. So does this go down if that? Yeah, it does look like it. All right. So then I will do something else for this. I don't want it flush against the wall anyway. What if I did something like this instead? So it saves a little bit of room. Um, yeah, and then if we need a renewed experience. Um, Do I have another servo? I mean, no, I don't. I need glass. There, there it is. One of those. And then I shall do. Where's the pipe? Yeah, I guess I'll use. These and then servo. Tank is kind of hard to see those tanks sometimes. there. So I got one level. It's back. Alright. Perfect. 
So, lock this up. Yeah, that should be enough. I don't think we're going to have much experience for right now. Uh, hopefully I have enough uh, experience to build the magical wood. We don't know. Well, well that's also a problem. Is kind of need ex experience to uh, enchant the higher books. Hmm. Alright. So what else do we have? I don't think there's anything left. So, why don't I go over my notes of the sort system and we'll get started on that. And we'll get 